Hello, communication scholars and members of information systems. It would have been great to see you uh, in person in this year's conference, but uh, this is not an ideal situation, but I wish you all have a great uh, virtual conference this year and hope to see you all in person in next year conference. I'm Seon Jung, professor at, um, in the Department of Media and Communication, Seonggyungan University in Seoul, Korea, and this is and Byung-hyun Lee, a graduate student in Seonggyungan University. Uh, Byung-hyun is the second author uh, of this study. And Hyo Sun Ryu is also a graduate student in my department. We did a study about perceived uh, message effectiveness, whether uh, perceived message effectiveness, as PME, can be a good indicator for actual message effect. That issue has been controversial for for many years in one side people believe uh, pme is useful uh, to uh, to predict okay uh, to predict actual message effect or to be used instead of actual message effect in evaluation of campaign effectiveness that's Dillard Weber found, uh, Dillard meta-analysis and found average correlation is 0.41, even though it has a lot of variation and standard error. Um, Dillard and Shen uh, did uh, some experimental studies and found PME is an uh, antecedent of AME. And Joe Carpella and Noah Beck, uh, Barker and Ezra wrote uh, articles in general communication and advocate the usefulness of uh, PME for AME, but uh, there are different types of PME measures. So uh, we need to uh, we need to do some more systematic, rigorous uh, studies to test effectiveness of PME to predict AME. But on the other side, O'Keefe in 1993 article argued, and the people have some incorrect, commonsensical beliefs of a persuasion. Okay, that is uh, incorrect beliefs of a persuasion. So. PME uh, can be different from AME for many reasons. And then 2018, O'Keefe uh, 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 supported his argument with some empirical data, empirical evidence. There are two types of evidence. And one is this, one is and in O'Keefe, the article, and he uh, used the two data sets, uh, hypothetical data sets, and, and then argued the, here, uh, the correlation between PME, AME is perfect for each message, message A, message B is one, but AME is, is better for PME, but uh, a, a, B is better for AME, so there is inconsistency okay uh, so and then he uh, he said hey correlation is not enough not a good evidence to evaluate effectiveness of or diagon uh, effectiveness of PME but if you take all message a message B the overall correlation is negative one uh, negative 0.96. So this is a very unique situation. Okay, uh, Simpson's paradox, very useful uh, situation. But we need to see whether in in persuasive campaign situation, uh, whether this is a typical typical case or not. Okay. So in this study, one one thing we test is whether the message specific correlation and cross across message correlation is different or how much different or in the same direction or not. We tested that. 
And then, uh, uh, O'Keefe uh, did a meta-analysis. Basically, in the in the previous studies, he he made a pair of two messages: message A, message B. And then look at the PME measure scores and AME scores. Whether the rank of PME consistent with the rank of AME, and he found uh, the overall uh, only uh, fifty. 8% of cases, uh, those two rank consistent, okay? But 58% is not statistically significantly different from the by chance, okay? But he actually include all the PME scores uh, uh, difference, uh, whether it's significant or not significant. I believe because here is this sample data, we should have only uh, uh, significant uh, difference cases and let's see whether the rank is consistent or not. In that case, the correlation is at least 0.67. So that's the different stories. Okay, so this is the the problem, and then I think we need to have, we need to have better uh, standard, okay, to uh, to uh, measure the distance significance and the whether length is the the same or not. So uh, we uh, we look at the all the studies, and then we want to uh, uh, test more systematic tests about the relationship between PME and AME and there are different type uh, here for AME uh, we uh, I, I think we believe the best measure for AME is uh, the difference between pre and post message actual change this is a very typical uh, measure for the actual attitude change so basically you subtract attitude time one from attitude time two right and then you can you can you can you can measure the actual attitude change that could be the uh, actual effectiveness and then in for the pme pme measure and we have some measures like how logical this is a message attribute uh, we call perceived argument quality and there is the um, uh, overall persuasiveness and also how much you affected Okay, there's a P perceived message impact one and P perceived message impact three. And then we we developed a new measure for the perceived message effectiveness. Here is when you we measure actual message effectiveness. We ask in what degree your attitude changed after you read the persuasive message. 10 point or 20 point, we measured the actual attitude zero per percent and 100 percent okay and then we ask how much degree you changed your attitude so and then also we measure perceived attitude change three what's good about this we can compare this and actual message effectiveness and then we can we can see how much perceived message effectiveness represents actual message we hypothesized if the message is counter attitudinal to your pre-existing attitude and people typically under report underestimate the effect of uh, effect of uh, messages on their own attitude okay so we and then with this measure we can test that things okay so here is we uh, mess uh, rq1 to uh what extent the various PME measures predict the actual attitude change one, the effect of manipulated argument quality on various measures of PME, which measure uh, best capture the manipulation of message argument quality, and then uh, we test uh, PME AME correlation between cross message and message specific and also we directly compare uh, uh, perceived message effectiveness and actual message effectiveness so this is two way panel online experiment we have uh, time one and time two and we create strong message but also we weak message about uh, the uh, the uh, benefits of the nuclear power power plants okay it's, there are two reasons we very systematically create these two messages 
and this is the results and these uh, various types of, of uh, P PME measures and that's this is the effect of these measures on actual attitude change and then most of them it's pretty did a good job and uh, our scale is pretty high but PME1 uh, was the best predictor for actual message effect and then uh, message argument quality this is the kind of manipulation check and we found perceived persuasiveness uh, is show the highest uh, uh, co uh, coherence D between uh, strong message and weak message, but also perceived argument quality or best capture uh, the manipulation of message argument quality. Across message and message specific case, uh, we found pretty positive and very similar. So uh, a gift case, hypothetical case, is very unique case. Um, it's not have high ecological validity okay so especially for initial opposition group this is the some more target audience they have strong and weak and across message overall they have pretty much uh, positive correlations the same and this is the most important finding of our study and here this is a weak message and strong message there are not much difference between two uh, but 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 uh, actual message effectiveness is high for strong message here for uh, opposition group opposition group this is 15 this is about five in wing message but uh, in both cases people on the report uh attitude change by the message okay this is the actual message effect but people say it's no or, or the other way uh, in the first strong message and people actually change their attitude in on average 15 percent point uh, but they reported a zero or one, five so people underestimate so we when we use per, uh, perceived attitude change we should know we should be aware of the uh, the underestimates people under report the effectiveness of a PME an actual message effect uh, so uh, this is our presentation and then uh, you can read our article uh, if you want a recent article please email me if you have a question leave a message uh, or leave your question or you can you can email us thank you very much for watching our presentation and then hope to see you all in next year ICA conference. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.